pop up our B&B this is where we stayed last night perfect stop off in Porlock Weir but follow the sign to the next stage of our route perfect place would highly recommend this B&B and here's the start of today's route had a full English breakfast so we're all energised and ready to go aren't we Elaine? Absolutely. there you go you heard it absolutely full bellies sun is shining let's go and we're going to be leaving poor Lock Weir behind sheep and the little lambs are enjoying the sunshine morning hello now this uh, first part of the hike isn't it it's supposed to be uphill and wooded it's supposed yeah. to be a bit more strenuous at least the first half of the hike no. so we'll see how we do it's more of a breeze today but it is behind us which is yeah most welcome rather than the head you know walking into the breeze you can probably hear the breeze on the audio i welcome the breeze keep us cool until things get a little bit hotter also as well there's not a lot in poor lot where doesn't seem to be like any grocers or convenience stores of any sort but uh, where we stayed last night they made us some sandwiches for this morning yeah, so we are set lunch. aren't we yeah. so we have a packed lunch so wherever you do stay in poor lot where just ask if they can make you sandwiches for the morning to set you up for the day so ten and a half miles to Lynmouth, one and a half miles to Coolbone Church, which we're going to have a look at as well, and one mile back into Porlock Weir. We have not walked a mile; we've walked less than half a mile. Love the signs. I think we're going to go under the arch. This is a toll road. Two pound for cars, three pound for camper vans, and two pound for motorbikes. Huh. So if you want to go through here have to pay okay but of course we're not going to Lynmouth by car <laughs> we're going on foot and it's this way so now from this spot here it reckons it's only half a mile to pull up weir and back there it was a mile Oh, crikey. <laughs> Probably can't tell too much on the video, but we are now going up. Landslide keep out. Backs. And now we're walking on the top of the forest and we're getting very close to Colbone Church. Right, we've been going up for a fair few minutes. Now we seem to be going back downhill. Yes. I think there's going to be a few ups and downs on this trip.
absolutely beautiful. Incredibly old. Right, onwards. Okay, we're off again. Lynmouth, nine miles that way, in the sunshine. Down below is the ocean. We are really quite high up. That's where we're heading for. Wow. I can hear a sound of a waterfall. Pathways blocked <laughs> marginally. Gosh. That was one of the diverted paths because they had a landslide here. It's good that they keep an eye on things and change routes if there's been like a landslip or some damage done to the path. And again, as always. Everything's signposted. So you think, wow. You think, oh no, where do we go here? Quite simply, we've got these super little posts. So pleasantly surprised on this actual part of the route that you've seen so many waterfalls. And fallen trees. Another challenging stream to get through. Limit seven miles. It's just gone 12 noon. And we've done five. And we've done five. That sounds right. GPS says. Five miles. Hey! Walked. And we think it's 12 today, so the maths is doing well. Yes, the signpost looks pretty accurate. here like something out of Lord of the Rings but miniature so we're officially halfway at this stage and to greet us <laughs> are these two pillars forehead gaze This is called Boarhead Gate. Oh, I, it that, no. I'm oh. <laughs> I think it is. Okay. So, Boarhead Gate. So, by my estimation, this is roughly halfway. There in the far distance is the beach. Poor lot weir where we started this morning. What's this here? Yeah, I don't think we'll need lunch here.
<laughs> Another waterfall in our way. Sending view. Yes! Got my bench and lunch. Oh, Have a look. Well needed. We're on our way again. From here now it's supposed to be four miles. See a National Trust sign just ahead. Let us know where we are. Glenthorne Cliffs, okay. We are, aren't we? Big drop. We do seem to be going down, which means when you go down, eventually you're going to be going back up. I definitely guarantee that when you're doing this coastline. That's Fallen Point just ahead. That should stay very much on our right as we cut down into Lynmouth. We've come a long way, haven't we? We have. It's right back there on the very peninsula is where that little lookout was. Mm. Wow. It's very peaceful. It is. Wonderful. is nice. So this is an honesty cafe. Give what you can. Everything raised goes to feed the wild birds in these woods. You can pay via PayPal. Oh right, so if you have something, you pay via PayPal. What was in here? You know when you've been tangoed. It's good, isn't That's it? grand. What's in the little box? Oh, so we have a Yorkie. <laughs> The fallen point is over there towards that way. Looks as if we might be weaving through the valley. I guess we are. This way. We've done another ascent. Fallen point is over there. And now this route should now take us straight to Lynmouth. It should actually start going downhill in the final stretch. Here she comes. I'm sitting on the bench, saving you space. Can mind this view, which is pretty awesome. There they are. Over there is Lynmouth and Linton. We're staying in Lynmouth tonight. Two miles into Lynmouth. Along the coastline here. Danger cliff edge. Just need to watch our step really. So Lane has quite rightly just said that Lynmouth is the low part and then Linton is the upper part. We're staying in the lower part in Lynmouth tonight. Can't have much more than a mile to go. Uh, a bit like yesterday, the last mile, absolutely feeling it. Legs and feet aching a bit. So I think we're gonna be really grateful when we get to the B&B. Check in. Oh, I can have a cup of tea. We've made it. Civilization. <laughs> So welcome to Lynmouth. It 
be in Lynmouth for the day. We must have a game of pitch and putt. Or explore the harbour. Right, that's where we're staying tonight. Lynn Valley Guest House. Where are we staying? Fantastic. Even better. Oh, this is nice. Wonderful welcome at reception, I have to say. Really helpful. Lynn Valley Guest House. Really warm welcome. Fantastic. As always, we'd like to share how many miles we've walked. We have walked 13.36 miles. And it's 4.30. And it's 4.30. It started just Quarter to 10. 10. Quarter to 10. Six and a half hours. Tonight's tea, fish and chips. Oh. And you can't forget the curry sauce. So, we've just eaten our fish and chips. <laughs> and it's true, we can barely walk. So we just, just... I've got a blister. I don't ever, ever get blisters. So we're just crawling into Lynmouth Harbour. Just have a quick look round before we get our heads down for the night. Just remembered as well that they call Lynmouth Little Switzerland. Uh, because someone visited here many a year ago and it reminded him of Switzerland. And to a certain extent, I can see why, just looking at some of the buildings. This is a good sign. It is a good sign, isn't it? Where we start, yeah. 21. Yeah. Paul's only 609. Hooray! We're, We're getting there. We got this. We're getting there. Is the world famous Cliff Railway, which is currently closed. It's open from 10 o'clock. But we won't be taking that to the top. We'll be going the long way around. going to hobble back to our guest house. Got the key to get in because it's now shut. Get in by the back door. Wait for me. And we're back. So, day two. Started at Paul Up Weir and we walked to Lynmouth. Just like, I mean, Linton and Lynmouth are the same place, really. But we stopped in, Lin in Lynmouth. Stop just shy because we just didn't go up the steps into the town. There we go, I'll we'll colour it into about there. And we only had two days, so that's all we managed to do on that trip. But we'll be back. We will be back.